Well, fuck. Well, I guess that means I have to use someone else for my commentary. Let's see. No, 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 no. This will do. And just like that, I am a red porcupine that people debate about whether I am male or female. Smashing. Now when you see the phrase 20% cooler in the title of a commentary, you know that you're heading straight for the wall and the brakes of your car have been cut. So what do you have to do? You have to prepare yourself for the collision course that's about to happen. Now something I want to bring up. You see that watermark at the top of the video? Get used to it. It's never gonna leave. Hey guys, I'm um, Shane here, and I can tell you guys about something that's just stupid. Um, I've gotten a lot of arguments on YouTube over people that are bronies and like My Little Pony Friends of His Magic. I, I hate to break it to you, that show just sucks. Could you please give me a valid reason as to why it sucks instead of just talking out of your ass like everybody else does? Hey everyone, and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to make a rant about insert topic here and why I think it sucks. Now, you are talking out of your ass. You better elaborate. How dare you say something bad about something I like? I just started a video. I could easily make a very good point and you suck. Thanks. People are. And people tell me, oh, yeah, you're a hater and you're a troll for commenting on videos about it. You know what? The funny thing is, you're actually the troll here because you're the one spamming all the images of it and spamming uh, voices of it and spamming texts of it all over Gary's Mod. There it is, the most generic insult by an anti-brony. They say that we spread these pictures and these voices to unrelated websites, which we don't. I mean... Please, if you're going to make an argument like that, I want to see you go on a random website or a random YouTube video and show me a comment or a song or something that has nothing to do with the video that has to do with ponies. Because if you could find that for me, then i take back my statement. But since I haven't seen that, I'm going to leave it where it stands. Because doing it myself will require me to do work. <laughs> That's just stupid. But you don't need to worry, my good sir, for I did your work for you. You guys know about the Meet the Pyro video, right? Well, I decided to look through the comments section, and I found several comments that were related to My Little Pony or the Brony fandom, even though the original video itself had little to nothing to do with the show or the fandom itself. 4chan, all of that stuff. So if you think about it, in the long run, the, p the fans are actually the trolls here, because they're the ones who are spamming it everywhere. Alright, first things first, if you don't want to find any pony images or videos, don't look for them. It's completely avoidable. Completely avoidable. Because in the time that the brony community had started, to the time that I had became a brony, I did not see a single My Little Pony picture ever. And there was a year gap there. So basically what you're saying is, if you don't like it, don't look at it. Well, I decided to do a little experiment. I decided to search up random normal things on DeviantArt, and what are shown in these screenshots are the things that appeared on the first page of what I searched. What I'm trying to get at is basically saying if you don't like it, don't look at it on the internet. It's kind of like TLG Professor saying that he's 29. And another thing, have you ever actually stopped to look at some of the fan art that bronies make? It's actually really good. Of course some of the caption pictures can get annoying, but that gets annoying with everything. I mean, I see caption pictures of, a, of just random stuff and it irritates me when I see it all the time. Just because there's a pony on it doesn't make it any more or less annoying. Um, yeah, question. What the fuck has this got to do with your point? I mean, if you like the show, that's great. No one really gives two shits about you. Just like the show, be gay, have your own fun time. But you don't have to make other people gay like you. We're not joining your gay race. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but we're humans just like you. Sorry if it disappoints you, but there's nothing you can do about it. And could you please show me some evidence that proves that every single brony is homosexual because... Every anti-brony says it, but then again, none of them have ever proven it. They just say, it's for a little girl, so that makes him gay. It, which is not a valid argument at all, so... Please, enlighten me. You say that he needs to have evidence to prove how every brony is gay, and yet you say that every anti-brony says this without any evidence yourself. Do you know what I did? I went to YouTube, I picked a random episode out of random, and watched it for four minutes. Four minutes in, 
I walked out of my room screaming. That show was awful. There's nothing good about it. There's nothing amazing about it. There's nothing realistic about it. There's nothing good about it. People say that the show is all, like, realistic and it represents stuff in real life. That's bullshit. Um, since when do cartoons have to be realistic? Last time I checked, no cartoons were realistic. Uh, this cartoon in particular gives off good morals and good ideas that you could use in everyday life, and that's why we like it so much. But you're just too ignorant to see it because you watched the episode, said this is for little girls, and apparently screamed and ran off. The only reason you were doing that is because it has a huge fan base. Where the hell did you come up with that assumption? Maybe he generally didn't like the show at all because it actually wasn't for him. And yet you're accusing him of being ignorant. Have you ever met Mr. Kettle yet? It's about ponies that talk. I mean, I haven't seen little kid trends that, since this, since like fur facts and stuff like that. Like, I don't get it. If you are a brony, uh, all I have to say to you is get a life, grow a pair, don't be um, trolling all of us, spamming images. You just dumbass and you gotta probably grow up here and quit talking about a little girl show and I'm not just saying little girl because some people think when they, they're just saying little girl just to accuse little girls that's not true I actually have a reason behind it if you go to Target I was at Target a few days ago guess where all the My Little Pony stuff was not just the toys the DVDs and everything about the show guess where I found it the the young child the young child to toddler section are you guys young child or toddlers no, I don't think so. Um, I don't think you'd be old enough to even go on YouTube if you were a t toddler or a young child. Uh, so yeah, for the, all the bronies, you guys really need to grow a pair. Um, the brony community has acknowledged that the show was made for little girls. Uh, I'm pretty sure that every brony has a clear knowledge of that. We're not saying, oh my god, the show's not for little girls. Why, why would it be for little girls? There's nothing girly about it. We're acknowledging that, but that doesn't mean we still can't like it. Just because the toys happen to be in the little girl section doesn't mean we go there. By your logic, that means I can't... Just remember, kids, editing and retakes are for fucking morons. By your logic, that means an adult or a teenager can't like Pokemon or Power Rangers or Yu-Gi-Oh and all that stuff. So, you're still not proving any point. I'm going to end the commentary here because soon there's nothing else to talk about. But before I end, I just want to show you a sample of another video. Uh, about a year ago, I made a video called Bronies Suck. And I definitely targeted the wrong audience by saying that I hate bronies and they should get a life, grow up hair, etc. I meant to target pony fags the entire time. And this apology video was made four months prior to this commentary, which makes his commentary rather pointless. Biased, ignorant, pointless. It's strange how three simple words can sum up one entire commentary. With that being said, this is entertainment. And Papa's a gimmick, so now it's an episode for Nelly, though, yes, it's no one, no, no.